Burgess gives me chills every time I hear him. He is a person that deserved much more than I was able to deliver. I know that Cerny Burgess probably would have wound up being had we have gotten a couple of real big records on him. Because this guy is so versatile in, in so many ways. He has a force that's so distinctive. And yet it is as harsh sounding, but at the same time, the way he delivers what he says. Well, uh, good evening, y'all. Uh, yeah, on behalf of the state of Arkansas, uh, happy to bring you uh, a legendary band. Uh, if you want to talk about the roots of rock and roll, you can't get any deeper than what was going on in northeast Arkansas and the greater Mid-South Memphis area than what was happening there in the early 1950s. Their bluegrass and uh, gospel music and the blues and country music, rhythm and blues, it was all bumping into each other in places like uh, the Silver Moon Club in Newport, Arkansas. And uh, starting in 1950, Sonny Burgess, Kern Kennedy and some of these guys were playing a mix of country, rhythm and blues, pop music there. And uh, up the road in 1955 came Elvis Presley to play the Silver Moon Club, and he hired these guys as his opening act, and they caught on real quick. Uh, Sonny recorded for Sun Records there in Memphis, had a two-sided hit with uh, We Want a Boogie and Red-Headed Woman. This band has been with him since the very beginning. Got a couple of new guys in here, but uh, his father owned the Silver Moon Club, so he comes by it honest. Um, anyway, will you make welcome all the way from uh, Eastern Arkansas, Sonny Burgess and the legendary Pacers. on the piano. Jim Aldridge on a saxophone. Got Charles Watson on the violin from Tupelo, Mississippi. Smiling Fred Douglas on the bass from Heber Springs, Arkansas. Jim Aldridge, Dynamite Jim from Conway, Arkansas on the saxophone. The world's greatest piano player, Carl Kennedy on the piano. And on the drums, that's Rapid Robert Bobby Crawford, the ladies in French call him. And uh, Kern, you got your rings on tonight for these folks to look at. Look at that, folks. These rings were given to me by my fifth wife, 
who run off with my best friend, and I sure do miss him. Hey, here's smiling Fred Douglas to do one for you. Carl Perkins recorded this, and since then, I guess everybody in the world recorded it. Called Match Bar. <laughs> Well, I took your wonder little matchbox full of my clothes. Took your wonder little matchbox full of my clothes. I ain't got no matches, but I got a long way to go. I'm an old Ford boy, long way from home. An old Ford boy, long way from home. Yes, I'll never be happy. Thank you. 